Welcome to our Tuesday, March 12th, 2019 edition of News In Depth. I'm Ramishi Jairam with the details. We begin tonight's newscast by telling you that City Bar owner charged with human trafficking. Here's Royston Driggs with this report. Owner of Liquid Love Bar, Savita Posad, was today charged with trafficking in persons when she appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan in the Georgetown Magistrate's Court. The 33-year-old woman of Station Street Kitty was slapped with five counts in relation to human trafficking. The charges stated that between January 31, 2019 and March 8, 2019 at Station Street, she engaged in trafficking in persons by recruiting, transporting and harboring two Venezuelans for the purpose of sexual exploitation. The court was further told that Posada during the set period unlawfully withheld the identification cards of the two Venezuelan nationals in aid of trafficking in persons. She was also charged with employing a 17-year-old child at the Station Street location that sells intoxicating liquor. Police prosecutor objected to bail on the grounds of the prevalence of the offense. The court was also told that the Venezuelans are in protective custody. The woman was remanded to prison until March 15th. Prisoner escapes from Wim Police Station. He's still on the run. Here is that report. A prisoner who was charged with break and enter and larceny escaped from the police lockup at a Wim Police Station yesterday afternoon, according to Commander of B Division. The escapee has been identified as Dinesh Sukram, 37, called Lil Man. This newscast understands that the prisoner was arrested after intense work by a senior rank under quarantine and charged. He appeared in the Wim Magistrate's court. He was then placed on $200,000 bail, which he could not post. He was remanded to prison. It was while in the police lockup awaiting to be taken to the New Amsterdam prison that he managed to escape sometime after 4 p.m. Lil Man is a notorious criminal who has been on the police's radar for some time. This newscast was reliably informed that the commander was at the police station and made checks after he was informed. Senior ranks are calling for the station sergeant to be placed under close arrest for negligence. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Hey, look at that. Let me go and take your boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get lock up teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color. Pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Horse racing fans, get ready for the first annual Triple Crown Horse Race Meeting. 27 races, two different tracks, with over $20 million in cash and prizes up for grabs. The first leg with runoff on Sunday, 24th February at Rising Sun Turf Club. The action continues on March 24th at the same venue for the second leg. And the final leg on April 21st at the Port Morant Turf Club. It's a Triple Crown Horse Race Meeting featuring the top horses and the jockeys. See and be there. Presented by Jumbo Jet Thoroughbred Horse Racing Committee. I sell swaggerific, Spaniard me like staggerific. I Spaniard, drink a star. When the star give me a hand on the world place. Turn up, 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 I don't business if you're not on time. You must always have stag in the line. Well, everybody have a stag in the hand. Where's my stag man's beer? Caribbean rice. From the lush rice fields of Guyana. Straight to your home. Ruby Rice, our people, our rice. Guyana! Guyana! Extra, Extra Beer presents, presents the youngest and the hottest dancehall artist, Alkaline! Alkaline! We make it pass a little drama. When them all pull up themselves, we keep it calm. I feel like my gang conquer the world now. The Conqueror! You can't stand with 
Vendetta. Live on Easter Saturday, April 20th, 2019, at the Guyana National Stadium, Providence. Music by DJ Magnum, Gully Russ, and Diamond, David Hyde, DJ Fresh, DJ Damien, and Andre, Bobby Kush from Jamaica, Super Rain, One Man Band, Alkaline Live, Alkaline Live, Easter Saturday, 20th of April, 2019, early bird tickets $2,500 after $3,000, stage front $15,000, stay tuned, tickets out soon, Guyana National Stadium, Providence. <laughs> Welcome back. Slow down in business in Berbice, says regional chairman. Here's that report. Region 6 regional chairman David Armagan said the political developments in Guyana is affecting business in the region. Armagan was speaking to this newscast. He said since the closure of some of the estates in the region, business is not the same. The sales of businesses within the region were reduced by half. So in some cases, um, it's, it's, it's about 25% of the sales they used to get before. So it's pretty bad in terms of business. And that is because it's obvious. You know, it's basic fundamental economics because if um, there is a withdrawal in terms of money supply in the system, then the, the money that is available for spending within the local economy, which is a barbies economy here, would be, uh, would be reduced. And if, uh, once that has happened, it means that people wouldn't have money to buy some of the things that they need. And so the people who are selling stuff, they would also suffer. The taxi driver is suffering. The, the restaurant people are suffering. The hotel people are suffering. You know, all businesses. So because it's a spell-off effect. He is forecasting more uncertainty for the region. And then, you know, too, people are not investing in our country, especially in our region, because of the current political impasse. Um, with the, um, the no confidence motion that was passed on the 21st of December, and which obviously should have led, would have led to an election before the 19th of March. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem now as though it's going to be possible by the 19th of March. He noted that with the passage of the no confidence motion on December 21st last year, has contributed to investors not wanting to invest in Burbis. The sugar industry, which is one of the largest employers in Burbies, has been on the decline since before the APNU AFC government took office. Over the years, billions of dollars were pumped in the struggling sugar industry by both the PPP and APNU AFC government.